It's 40 past two. That's right, 40 past two. It's not 20 to three, 40 past two. That's how I do it. Now, I was meant to be up in Sydney town with this guy at the Apple store talking about the issue and hopefully resolving it, but uh, there was other plans, let's just say. You remember last week on the live stream on Outdoor Man with a Van when Baxter and I was in Steve Van and Baxter turned it on and it didn't turn over? If you didn't see that, has a time stamped link to when that happened in the live stream. Well, I went, I knew that Steve Van wouldn't start this morning when I woke up. My plan was to get a jump start. So I set everything up last night, made sure it was in a good, made sure Steve Van was rolled into a good position, had the jumper leads already, had my van packed with the iMac ready to go. Went out there, got up at 5 a.m., got out there at 5.30, go to do the jump start, everything's cool. Let it run for a while, give it some revs, just let it sit there, everything's cool. Undo the jump start leads, hop in Steve Van. The second I put my foot on the brake, shut down. Steve Van just said, nah, complete shutdown. <sighs> Super frustrated, I ring the NRMA. An hour goes by, 6.30, they rock up. Same gentleman as every time, or as the first three times. There was one time in between where it was someone else. Basically, he told me uh, and showed me the alternator is taut. Est is taut. That's German for it is dead. And so I've not gone anywhere and I've sat here and I've looked on the internet for a replacement alternator and I found one and I've ordered it from the eBay machine and this is my upgraded model 125 amp instead of the 90 amp that was in Steve Ann. Now I'm gonna fit that myself. I'm gonna try doing the hard the hard labor. You know me and mechanics and tools, this is gonna be very interesting, but I am gonna persist with it and do it myself. Um, I've done a lot of research and it doesn't look like a hugely technical job. Probably the main thing is to make sure that the belt tension before you take it off um, remember that tension and then mimic the same tension when you put the new one on. Does that make sense? Just check check what the tension is before I loosen it and then make sure I put it back to the same the same tautness, tensions, the sh match the tension. But uh, pretty frustrating. Um, obviously I'm frustrated because my iMac's not fixed and it's gonna now push this out further. But in the meantime, iFixit have sent me an email saying, if they've shipped out a faulty product, they'll ship me a new one. So I might not even have to go to the Apple store. Touch wood that they ship me that new part. Not confirmed yet, but if they do, then I don't have to go to the Apple store. I can put the new part in and maybe touch more wood. My whole head feels like wood right now. Maybe that's the resolution. Man, one thing follows the next, you know? Like one bad thing happens, the next bad thing, the next bad thing. I was all set to get this going and I would have come back with a dual battery system and an iMac fixed and I'm stuck here. I'm gonna have some home brews. It's a Friday afternoon, I'm gonna have home brews. I don't care, I'm gonna have a few drinks. I'm gonna relax tonight. <coughs> That's my plan. Looks like a good alternator though. I mean, eBay comes to the restroom and quite cheap too. Where's the price on there? Oh yeah, $249. So $250, that's pretty cheap, right? That's not an expensive 